Hello there. In this video I'll be demonstrating some of the Bluetooth low energy functions of Clarinox's Koala EVM board. First of all we'll power up the board and then we'll click on that icon there to connect to the debugger. Next we'll go into the tool chain and load the BLE application which is one of our sample applications for Bluetooth low energy. Now I'll just cut the loading time out of the video but it should usually take about two minutes to load. So now that that's loaded I'll click the icon to run the application. Now back in the console I'll initialize the Bluetooth stack so that's option one. And then I'll open the program on the phone, which is NRF Master Control. Then I'll enter option 4 here on the console, so the Koala EVM will start advertising a Bluetooth signal. Then if I go back to the phone and press scan, then the Koala AVM signal comes up as Clarinox BLE. And you should be able to see that on the screen capture that I'm showing you there. Then if you just click above the little triangle on the button, you get the option to auto connect, which is the easiest way to connect it. Okay, so now that's connected. So you can see there if I click on one of those we can get the GAT profile and I'll also just show you one of the plugins, the protocol monitor, so on there we can see any debug messages that come up. And then if I click on unknown service we've got a whole list of characteristics there. So these characteristics can be anything, any information coming in from a server or a sensor from the device. So if we just read the first characteristic, which is index 2, we can see it comes up with zeros because we haven't put any information in there yet. So to write some information in there that the phone will be able to pick up, we'll go back to the console and enter in number 8, which is write local characteristics. And as I said, the first one is index 2, so we press 2 and enter. And so, for example, I'll type in 1234, and that will get sent to the phone. So if we go back and read that first unknown characteristic again, um, it comes up there with the ASCII value of 1234, so we've got 31323334. So then the next function I'd like to show you is reading the local characteristic. So if I enter 9 in the console, which is read local characteristics, and enter index 6 for the third one down, then it comes up with 0000, zero, zero, zero as we don't have anything written in there yet. So then if we go back to the phone and click on that characteristic, and we'll type in, for example, 67, and then go back to the console and press 9 again, read local characteristics. And then that comes up there, so 6700. So now I'll show you how automatic updates work. So we can do automatic updates with the fourth characteristic down there, um, so that's index 8. So we go back into the console and we enter in 8 for write local characteristic again and we'll type in index 8 and just for example we'll do 1234AAAA. So then if we go back and read that on the phone we can see the ASCII value for 1234AAAA so we've got 31323334616161. So then if you click the icon on the phone with the three down arrows, that registers for automatic updates. 
And then if we go back to the console, enter in 8 again to write local characteristics and we'll type in Clarinox this time. So then back on the phone we've got the ASCII value for Clarinox which is updated automatically. I'll just briefly show you the camera function as well. So if we enter in 12 to display the camera and then you should be able to see me waving in there. So then after we've done all of that there are a couple of plugins that we can have a look at. So we've got the protocol monitor which I showed you before so that um, shows us any of the debug messages that have come up. And then we've also got the memory analyzer to show us the details of the memory usage. And then if we go into details and we can double click on one of the entries there. So then we can see the details of the memory being allocated but then not freed. Lastly I'll show you Clarinox's programmable WMI module which you can use in prototypes and your devices. So it's this small module here that connects in up the top and that can be programmed via the JTAG connection on the left. Okay, so that's everything. Just a few examples of what you can do with Bluetooth Low Energy on Clarinox's Koala EVM board.